Welcome to Paper and Moose. It is flea market morning. It is a Saturday. Tomorrow, Sunday is supposed to be a major wash. Mm, not that many cars here. Looks like vendors are still just pulling in, setting up. I'm hopeful. Let's get out there and see what things, treasures, trinkets, tchotchkes we can find today. Let's go. Yeah, I think so. No. No, that's not it. No. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Right there. Oh, it's right No. Not by me, those are either all come down from the buck hill that are like natural grounds. Yeah, true. Yeah. 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 Somebody made it, right? I don't think it was commercial. These guys are adorable. I'm afraid to ask how much because I'm probably going to want them. They're from Gund.
which is kind of cute. I wonder if I can fit these. So a little back porch recap. Please don't mind my hair. There are many benefits of having short hair, but the only one I think is bedhead with hair that's just not gonna go down. So don't mind my little out there. Um, flea market was not bad today. I, I remembered before the flea market earlier this week, and then I remembered after that this weekend is Burnfield up in Massachusetts, I believe. So the normal vendors were there. I don't think that that hindered anything with that, but maybe additional vendors that you know maybe would have went there to sell aren't there because they're at Brimfield. There were still the same, at least the ones that I recognize, the same kind of pickers. So I don't know how many of them go to Brimfield at all. I've never been to Brimfield. Um, you know, for me, buying there probably wouldn't work to resell if I was buying just to resell, but I would love to go there just to look around. And I do think that one of the viewers mentioned the elephant's trunk flea market up in Connecticut. And that is really only about two and a half hours for me. So I think maybe in the fall, maybe end of September, I might go up there. I'll make a weekend trip, go up on a Friday, see if there's any other flea markets on Saturday because the elephant's trunk is on Sunday. But I think September might be a nice time to visit Connecticut if you have been to the elephant's trunk flea market or if there's anything in that area that I should definitely check out when I go there, then let me know. So on to the finds for today. Um, I picked up a mix of different things. Let's see. You know, some not, not much paper. Um, this girl, this is a Joseph original. I have seen these before. These are popular. People like to list these on Etsy. Or is it the older ones? I know Lefton also makes these. But this would be cute for a little girl's birthday. It has the original sticker. I think nowadays a lot of people like to do those, the photo shoots for the different years. But they have you know, like the banners. They make them extravagant. But, you know, this would be cute for on top of... Maybe not on top of a cake, but you know, for a themed three-year-old's birthday party. So I bought that. These will all be from the same guy. So I have that little girl. I bought three of these. They're Wheaton, New Jersey. They're spice jars, and these are ruby colored. I'm not sure if you could see the ruby, but all the stuff that this guy had, he has. He just brings out boxes and people actually help him they'll go into his trailer and take the boxes out or the totes out and then they look through that tote i mean this guy has so much he's always swamped whenever he gets there you need to be amongst the first people because then you'll get first dibs but a lot of these items have stickers price tags and stickers on them so i think they were from someone else that you know re resold and then i'm not sure what happened but he got them now so i got three of these they i did look them up online and they seem to do fairly well. But they're, they're nice, you know, wheat and glass is collectible depending on the color. So these are ruby ones. So I got three of those. I got this guy, which I think someone will just love. How awesome is that? It's a chocolate point Siamese cat, but I made sure to look over it really good to see if there are any breakages or damages, but there isn't. And he is really cool looking. It's kind of like Lady and the Tramp with the Siamese cats in there, but I, I've never seen a, a large one like this. And I'm just really glad that, you know, there are no breakages, there's no damages. So he's pretty nice looking. So that, and I bought these two. I've seen these in the salt and pepper shaker form, but not these large, you know, larger items. There is some damage. The boy has a little hole on the bottom, but even with the paint wear, they still have a, a great, a great look. And these will be good for anyone that is decorating and you know, like an oriental 
whoops, piece fell, <laughs> an oriental motif, or even, you know, like a nice, you know, Asian oriental restaurant, I guess, if they wanted something to put on their, like by their counter. But they just have a really great look to that, you know, that, that kitschy feel. And they have just the right amount of wear. So I picked those up too from that guy. Um, for myself, I picked up a pair of shoes, because why not, um, for work. These are aerosols, brand new. They've never been worn. I can wear these to work. I like the color and the style. They look somewhat vintagey. And then that guy actually had paper, which I was surprised. And of course, there was someone else, there was an older man looking through the album, and I'm thinking, put it down, put it down, put it down. And it worked. It's very sad, though, because they're all taped in. All the pictures are taped. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I knew that if I would have left it there, I would have been disappointed. Um, I mean, ev everyone is taped. There was a really, you know, I didn't look through it. The big show, there's a circus. You know, some mil oh neat. some military pictures. There's one. It was a photo postcard I wanted to show because I thought that it was great, and I probably won't be able to find it. But yeah, they're all all taped in. It's so sad. It was an image of a. It was a photo postcard. And it had, um, I should have looked for it before. I wasn't prepared. Look at these kids. <laughs> it was an image that he was holding. Oh, he is not happy. <laughs> not happy at all. I really want to find it now so I can show you. I don't know where it went, um, but it was a photo postcard of this little child holding a teddy bear, but it was old. Um, I, I can't find it. I don't want to waste your time. Maybe this is it. Oh, here it is. But look. Oops. But I, this may be the reason why I bought this album. I love the little child's face and that well-worn teddy bear. That's cute. So I'll have to look through this, you know, what can be saved out of here. It's going to take some time. A lot of the, well, the tape is just crumbling, so maybe it won't be as bad as I thought, but what a shame. My favorite finds of the day, one of two are these guys. <laughs> I love them. They kind of have a funky smell. I'm going to have to leave them outside for a little bit, but they are a gunned creation. Um, Brooklyn, New York. I've never seen a pair of these before at the market, and I have an affinity for well-worn, sad-looking stuffed animals because I think that they need to be saved but I love them and they will go with my Easter items. You know, I'll leave them outside under my, in my porch so that they can air out a little bit. Um, you know, they might just be a little bit damp, but I love them. They're so cute. Oh, and the thing was, I thought the guy was gonna be like, oh yeah, those are $20 or 15. And when I asked how much they were and he said $5, they just went right in my bag. And I think because I've bought from him before, I actually purchased a bunch of photographs from him a couple weeks ago, if you remember. So when you are a regular, they're more likely to be a little bit more flexible with you in price because they know that if you are, if they're giving you decent prices, you're most likely always gonna come back to buy from them. So that was one of my favorite finds. My other favorite find was this. It's a Phillipsburg Fire Department sign so I'm assuming this probably would have went above the license plate 
and the car on the fire truck. I might be wrong, but I, as soon as I saw this, I picked it up. I asked again how much, and he said $10. It was from the same person that I bought the bunnies from. And I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm not going to you know, ask, oh, would you take five? There, this is worth $10 and more, I think, at least to me. So if any of you have any recommendations for cleaning this up, you know, the back, I'm not too worried about. There is rusting. I don't really care about the back. But just in the front, you know, I have that um, Simply Green. I just don't want to ruin any of the graphics or cause any more damage to this. But this will stay in my collection to go with my Phillipsburg items. I love finding stuff like this. You know, this is what makes going to the flea market. This and those bunnies, you know, definitely worthwhile. Um, you know, it's saving stuff and then being able to treasure it and just giving it a new home and letting it be appreciated all over again. So great find. So thank you all again for joining me. Um, tomorrow looks like it's going to be a wash here. So no flea market tomorrow, but I think that we did pretty well today. I have enough other things to catch up on. I have so many things on my to-do list, you know, to do here, to make videos for. So just be patient. Things are coming along. But again, thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking. If you haven't liked the video, be sure to hit that little like button somewhere down in the video. Subscribe, tell your friends, and stay tuned for more fun adventures out there, whether it's flea markets, stories behind the paper, which I'm still working on. I have to start you know, getting more research into that for the next episode. I think it will be about a... Um, some photographs and licenses that I found for a show, a chauffeur, a show, I can't say the word, like a, a professional driver, a chauffeur. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> From the 1930s. I absolutely fell in love with the images and knew that I had to share them. So be on the lookout for that. That's on my to-do list as well. But thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great weekend, whatever you may be doing, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.